Sports Matters TV. Okay, guys, welcome to Sports Matters TV. Um, it's always an honor having Cork City legends, superstars, future Irish stars on with us. Uh, Lauren, you will all know true uh, Cork City FC. She had an incredible season last season. This year, uh, also playing extremely well um, as a big moves looms this summer. Uh, Lauren, first of all, how are you? How's things? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm great. Uh, as you said, except for the weather. But other than that, all is good. How about you? Yeah, very good. You look very chillaxed. You have a nice kind of a uh, chillaxed way about you, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, thanks. But the inside, it's uh, it's all nervous. Is it? Is it? Not a bother. So we, we have to go back to the to the early days, right? How did all the football stay for you first day? Um, so I started um, when I was like six or seven. Some girls in my estate were joining. And then my mom was like, oh, why don't you go with them? So I went with them for a bit. Um, apparently, I didn't like it. My mum had to force me into the car and drive me up to training. But after a while then, yeah, I took to it and I love the sport. Definitely. What was your first club? Obviously, you play with a couple of clubs, but what, what was your first club? Yeah, so my first club was Springfield Ramblers in Cove. Good club. Yeah, Good club. yeah, it is. Good club. it's a great and club. Did you take the football quite easy? Because look, we, we see you on the pitch playing with City. Um, we know how good you were. We know uh, America is calling and, and, and they want to rob you from us. But look, what was it like from the first day? Obviously, you, you made quite an impact as a, as a young girl playing football. Yeah, so um, I started off in a different position than what I was now. You know, now I'm kind of a uh, forward. But when I was younger, I was a midfielder. I was dominating the midfield. And yeah, I don't know. One day a coach just said, why don't you try up front and be the striker for us? And I said, yeah, and that's where it went from there, thank God. Definitely. And, like, how, how would you, like, obviously being a striker, it's a key role in any team and any starting eleven. Um, how much does that role mean to you? Because, obviously, there's always pressure on a striker to score goals and stuff, but luckily you deliver. Yeah, so, as you said, like, being a striker, they're the ones that are, like, expected to get the goals, you know. Of course, we hope that anyone and everyone on the pitch can get a goal for us, but, you know, it's always down to the strikers. So. As you said, the pressure is, it is kind of hard, but you learn to deal with it. And also, it's a lot of thinking as well. Like, it's, you know, a lot of off-ball movements, off-ball runs, but it's a great position. And if you have an eye for a goal, you should be up there. I love it. Now, we have to talk about, obviously, joining Cork City. What, what did it mean to you to join Cork City? Because obviously, we know how big Cork City is. Obviously, we've seen some great players come out of Cork City and go, I do big things in, in Scotland and England and, you know, across the world. What was it like joining Cork City for you? Obviously, that was a big move and the next big move for you. Yeah, so I went to the 2017 finals when City reached there and they were playing. And, you know, I was just watching them and I was like, I want to be there. Like, I want to be playing in a cup final on live TV. And um, so then I think it was either the next year or the two years after they started up the under 17s the league for the girls yeah. and I was like I want to be on that I, I need to join that <laughs> so I just found out like all the information that I needed to find out about it and then yeah I went to the trials and thankfully got on and from there went up definitely you know we've seen you shine in the city jersey you know since day one obviously there was a massive FAI cup final last year um, and unfortunately, it didn't go City's way. But uh, what's it like to, to play on the green jersey? And obviously, you've got great teammates. Tell us about your uh, your teammates. There's probably so many to name, but what girls should we be watching out for? Obviously, there's so many big stars in that squad. Yeah, so, you know, the big stars in the squad, like Ava Manny, you have Zara Foley. Um, you have your, you know, Sarah McEvitt is just after coming in. She scored a great goal for us there this weekend. Uh, low driven ball. And, uh, you know, you also have your younger stars coming up as well. Like you have your Eva Mangan and your Laura Shine. So it's great to represent the jersey with them and represent your county as well. You know, we're the only women's team in Cork. And to represent Cork as a whole, it's, it's great. Like it's kind of the same feeling as representing your country. Definitely. You know, we've seen the likes of Denise O'Sullivan, you know, do it all. She's out in America, you know, back-to-back -back championships, you know, MVP. Would you like to follow in Denise's footsteps? Obviously, we know she's doing so well. Obviously, an Irish international, 27 years of age, and, and she's almost at 100 caps for Ireland. Obviously, you've got big goals to, to wear the Irish jersey and, and follow her in her footsteps. 
Yeah, 100%. I mean, who wouldn't want to follow in Denise O'Sullivan's footsteps? She's had a great career. She's over in America. She's playing. She's playing international here. Um, it's, yeah, of course, I would like to follow her. She's in the, the Women's League in England as well. You know, she'll get to experience that. 100% would love to follow her. Definitely. Now, obviously, you have that big, uh, big opportunity this summer. It's this summer, I believe, you're going to America, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. So tell us, how did that come about? Obviously, it's something that you had an interest in. Obviously, it's Louisiana, I believe. Um, are you looking forward to that move? And obviously, a massive challenge ahead? Yeah, I can't wait for it. Like, um, I take challenges on head first. You know, I see something that I want to take on. I go for it. I don't back down from it. And, yeah, I've seen, like, a few of the girls go over, like, Michelle O'Driscoll and Megan Sheehan. They headed over. And I was like, oh, to my parents, I was like, I want to do that. Like, I want to go over and play soccer in the States, while in the sun as well as a plus, you know, playing in the rain. Every now and then you could be like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, 100%. I took the opportunity. Definitely. Now, what kind of goals have you set? Because I suppose as a young teenager and as, as a child, you always set goals. Like, my dream is to play for Liverpool. Now, unfortunately, I got too caught up in DJing and media work and all that kind of stuff. So, I give it up. But obviously, you, you have big goals to perhaps play for Ireland and win as many championships as possible down the road. Yeah, so, of course, playing for Ireland is every child's dream. But um, I do have dual citizenship, so I could also play for Nigeria if I do decide. Interesting. Um, I haven't decided now. Yeah, I haven't decided now, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds? And uh, so playing international, that's definitely one. And going pro. I want to go pro in Europe anyway. That is the main goal. Definitely not. Would you, would you always keep an eye on all the girls across, across the water? Like obviously, Katie McCabe is at Arsenal. We know uh, Louise Quinn. She's at Florentina in Italy. Um, I know Stephanie Roach was in Italy for a while and obviously played in England. I know Denise was at Brighton for a while. Obviously, what kind of clubs would you look at and would you like to play for? Yeah, I'd love to play in the Women's Super League in um, England. You know, it's close to home. But you also have the, the French teams and the Spanish teams. You know, I wouldn't say I'm... a uh, picky picky but you know I'm a Man United girl so I'd love to play for them that's that's the goal and the dream um, and how are you prepping for uh, for the big move this summer obviously look we're going to miss you here in Cork but we know a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do and obviously and chase them dreams um, obviously the family are going to miss you immensely but we, we always have Zoom and Skype and stuff um, how are you preparing for it yeah so my mom, she's like, she knows it's a great opportunity, but she's like, oh, do you really want to go? And I'm like, yeah, of course. But of course, she's encouraging me. But, you know, there's two sides to it. But, yeah, we're just getting everything finalized now. Um, have to apply for visas now soon and book flights. So they want us in kind of early enough for pre-season. And they even sent on the fitness test. So over the summer now, I will be practicing that fitness test here. So, yeah, it's the big move is happening. No. Oh. Epic. Now, last of all, we have to speak about Cork City this season. Um, six games in, it's, it's been a tough campaign so far. Um, obviously, we could turn it around, though. Um, you looking forward to the, to the games ahead? Yeah, definitely. As you said, we're six games in and, you know, we're still without a win. It's disappointing. We should have won some games, I feel, and other games we should have come out on top. But we have to move from it. You know, we have to, I think we have to switch things up. There's obviously something not working and... I think it will happen. We will switch things up. And once we get that groove going, we will ride the wave. I love it. Lauren, it's an absolute pleasure as always. Uh, I'll be in touch as always. Uh, I, I'm praying when, when the international calls come from Ireland and Nigeria, you choose Ireland, but obviously it's your own call. We, we'd love to have you in the Irish jersey. Um, you're an absolute star. And we wish you all the best. We'll chat to you soon. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much for having me on. Anytime. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Enjoy the rain. I oh, will as well. Thanks. <laughs>